Hi everybody, welcome back to another video on Feynman integration. Today we will be evaluating this integral. It's the integral from zero to infinity of 2x minus sine of 2x all over x cubed times x squared plus 1 dx. Um, our first step, as always, is to create a function in terms of a new variable um, closely resembling our original integral. In this case, the new variable will be t, and our f of t will be equal to basically the same thing, except uh, the 2x becomes a 2tx, and the sine 2t, uh, 2x becomes a sine 2tx. And you'll notice that's a little bit different than I normally would do it. Um, if you were just, you might be tempted to try um, f of t being equal to simply tx minus sine of tx. And that's usually the proper step. In this case, this works out better to actually leave the two there. Um, and you, you'll see why later. Um, also, we're going to note that our function of t evaluated at zero will be zero. That's pretty clear to see. And then if you evaluate it at the point one, we will get back our original integral. Um, all right. So uh, the first step is um, to take a derivative with respect to t using the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign. And all you do to do that is you can arrive at f prime of t by taking the partial with respect to t of the integrand right there. Um, my first video explains why that's true. Um, so what you get if you take a partial with respect to t of this is, um, well, eventually you arrive at this, but, uh, you know, I had some room on the board, so I decided to, to actually do some of the steps. Um, the first step, it's pretty clear. When you take a, uh, a derivative with respect to t, this denominator is a constant. The derivative with respect to t of 2tx is simply um, 2x. And the derivative with respect to t of this would be, um, using the chain rule, would be cosine of 2tx, which you have right there, times the partial derivative with respect to t of the inside function, which would simply be 2x. And then you could factor out the x's and use it to cancel one of the x's in the uh, denominator, which is what I did in this step. The next step is I factored the 2 outside the integral um, and then rewrote cosine 2tx as cosine squared tx minus sine squared tx using, uh, I think it's called the double angle formula or something like that, or maybe a reversal of the double angle formula, I don't know. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's that step. And then in the next step, I rewrote cosine squared tx as 1 minus sine squared tx, and I believe that's the Pythagorean identity. Um, hopefully I'm not, you know, screwing, screwing up my identities, but in any case, that is true. Um, so yeah, that, I, just, I just rewrote that. Um, and then you can see that this one and that one will cancel out, and this will become a negative, negative 2 sine squared tx, which is simply positive 2 uh, sine squared tx. Um, factoring out the 2 gives you this. So finally, we have that f prime of t is equal to 4 times the integral from 0 to infinity of sine squared tx over x squared times x squared plus 1 dx. Um, and, you know, if we were doing this from scratch, um, you know, without having done any work in previous videos, um, you could still do it. You'd end up with a pretty gnarly differential equation that you'd have to solve, I believe. Um, but you could definitely do it. But we're just going to jump. We're going to use the fact that we already know what this is from example 19. Well, I should say we know what this part is without the 4. From example 19, we know that, you can go back and watch it if you want, it's called Feynman Integration Example 19 on my channel. Um, we already know, oh, and by the way, uh, we, we know what we know from that video because of previous videos, and even in that video, it's from a previous video. So this is, 
this is like uh, this video is about four deep um, in using uh, previous examples to solve uh, to solve integrals. Um, but yeah, this this one utilizes a specific result from example 19. The result from uh, example 19 is that this part is equal to pi over 2 times e to the negative 2 over 2 plus t minus pi over 4. And that's true on the integral uh, from 0 to infinity where 0 is included. Um, and luckily that's what we need. Um, so yeah, we, we have f prime of t is equal to 4 times this junk right here on the interval from 0 to infinity. Um, so a little simplification, you can get f prime of t is equal to 2 pi times e to the negative 2t over 2 plus t minus pi. Um, and then to arrive at f of t, you, you simply perform some, some pretty basic integration. Um, so I'm not going to bother doing, doing the steps on that. You can, most of you could probably do that in your head. Um, the only part that might be difficult is um, you'll know that you would get a constant of integration uh, when you integrated that, but that can be found to be pi over 2 um, by plugging in the fact that our function evaluated at t equals 0 is equal to 0. But I just jumped right to the punchline. There's our f of t. That's our final example, our final result for f of t. Now all we need to do is plug in 1 to find our original integral. And what you do when you get that and do some simplification is that that integral is equal to pi over 2 times 1 minus 1 over e squared. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that.